Look what just arrived, the metaphysical cannabis deck. Now, it's an oracle deck, it's not a tarot, but I like it. I have had my eye on this. It's been on the news program ever since it was announced. I have been very, very excited to get this. So, the artist is spectacular. There is an interview on YouTube. I will link that in the description with the artist, I think the nickname of Edge. And, uh, yeah, very cool indeed. Been looking forward to this. Look at the box. That is nice. Nice and shiny and all the other stuff. Now, there are quite a few, uh, basically, you know, marijuana, pot, Delta 8, what have you, uh, cannabis oracles, tarots. They're coming out. Uh, but this one, uh, the artwork is so spectacular. I really, really was looking forward to this one. So let's take a look at it. It's one of the boxes that has a little notch here and it's, it opens up there, so there you go. And uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, it slides out. There we go, very cool. There's the inside of the box, nice. I love it when they like just go all in, like inside of the box, outside of the box, everything, and it magnetically closes, which I love that, love that, because you don't want that flopping around in the closet, or back in the back room, what have you. So there we go. So that is the metaphysical cannabis. So let's take a look at this. Very cool indeed. So it just slides out. It's got a little uh, protector with the cardboard, and it has um, it has some cannabis in it. No, um, not sure what's going on there. There we go. A little heart, what have you, inside of the box. Very, very sturdy, very thick box. I love that comes with a little book and wow look at the graphics wow look at the artwork that is insane that is insane i love that it has a little guidebook let's take a look and it's in color too oh my god i'm in love with this okay so yeah look at the art <clears throat> absolutely spectacular you cannot you cannot get better artwork than that so book quality is good it's not falling apart like the star trek tarot book did this is pretty cool, so it explains all the cards and what have you. And it is a healthy 100 and, <clears throat> excuse me, 133 pages long. Here we go. So you get under the pillow, we got uh, all the details for all the cards. And I love how we have sort of a hint of the art on the side without it being overbearing, right? So it's blank in the middle, so we read the text, but we have a hint of the art on the side. Uh, and then you have some pages, I believe, have uh, more or less. Yeah, we have some pages have the actual thing there. So very cool book. Very, very pretty, very attractive. I love the artwork. I love the sort of the coordination between the art, the color, and the book. It's not overwhelming. And it seems to be just right, in my opinion. So yeah, very, very pretty. So let's take a look at the cards. And... Uh, Let's undo the card condom and look. All right, here is the back of the card. Nice, nice card quality is pretty good. I'm flicking that pretty hard. And it's coming like to here. That's pretty good quality. I mean, that is pretty decent quality there. Love the back design, very cool. <clears throat> so let's look at this. Um, uh, freedom, there we go. Vry Freedom. Just the artwork itself is so good. That looks so good. How much time did that take? Like, you know, when I look at art, the first thing I want to know is like, how much time did that take? Because that looks extremely detailed. And I love how um, it's detailed, but it's not so much so that it just takes away from the card, in my opinion. The other thing I like about this is you get a lot of cards. I mean, that is, that is an Oracle deck, and it's that many cards. Here's a tarot deck. Like, does this have more cards than it? I mean, well, this is thicker than this one, but, I mean, that's a lot of cards. And that's the other thing that I love about uh, getting Oracle decks with a lot of cards is you don't have repetition. Because a lot of Oracle decks will have 30 cards, and you get, you get the same card over and over. And it's kind of annoying. So I love having more. We have Creation. I love that. I love sort of the snake aspect. Reminds me kind of the magician, right? Using the snake as a, um, the magician, the right-of-way smith, using a snake as a belt. 
Um, I know it's not a belt here, but you get the idea. So I love that creation, very pretty. You got the witch doctor over there, very cute. I love sort of the, ed the edge highlights here, um, the lighting, the way the lighting sort of just reflects and makes the card, because you have sort of the edging highlights here. Uh, you have sort of the shading as we're going into the shade there. Very, very good. Like this is a mastery level uh, on sort of lighting, um, you know, just making everything look nice. And it's not like the whole side of the hair is lit. It's only the raised portions of the hair that is lit. Perfect, beautiful, perfect. The level of artistic ability here is nuts. Nurture, very, very pretty. And then we have this. Ooh, I love the reflectiveness of the gold. Look how well the crown looks and the reflectiveness. It's not like it's just lit up on one side. You have a shading where it's indented, and then you have lighting where it's raised, but you only have lighting on the raised portions of the design. So like, that is incredible. That is incredible. Really, really like that. Very, very pretty with stability. And we have tradition over there. Sort of unusual, very cool. I like sort of the ghostly aspects as we sort of walk around there. And then we have uh, Union, kind of a lover's card kind of thing there. Um, yeah, very cool indeed. I love that. Is that grow lights or is that like disco lights? I don't know. I don't know. Um, then we have uh, Autonomy with it looks like a double lightsaber. I mean, I don't know what's going on there. But very pretty again. I love the sort of how we incorporate space and the planets without being overbearing or overwhelming. Ooh, I love that. Kind of a strength card looking thing here. Accountability. And then we have Solitude. I guess the Hermit. Uh, the Hermit card. I realize this is an oracle, but you know me. I'm going to relate it to a tarot deck if I can. You know, I love how uh, on this particular uh, Solitude Hermit card, whatever, um, there's no face. So you get to kind of imagine, right? Is this, is this, uh, who is this? What are they doing? What kind of things is happening here? And then we have Gratitude, very pretty. Kind of reminds me a little, a little Wheel of Fortune feel, you know what I mean? Man, I mean, the, the good thing about this deck is there's so many cards it's so varied and there's so much symbolism within the cards that you could use this for tarot readings. Like if somebody says, I want a tarot reading, I'd be like, you know, can we use this? Uh, it's an Oracle deck, but uh, you could use this for like detailed readings because a lot of Oracles will just have a face, right? Or they'll have one thing and that's it. But this one has so much detail that you could use this for divination. I mean, however you want to use it, you could use it. So I'm definitely going to be using this for readings. Normally, I don't use an oracle only because people know tarot cards and I can teach. It gives me a teaching opportunity. Uh, but this one's so detailed and so varied that I like it. A little bit of obviously hanged man kind of feel. Again, I know it's not a tarot deck, but a little hanged man feel. Love it. And again, with the edge lighting, like, you know, it's lit up from the bottom and only the part of the rope or the vine or what have you is lit up on that side. So again, man, the shading is just incredible, incredible amount of work went into this. Uh, transformation, I don't know, could that be the sun? I mean, what do you think? Would that be sort of my sun or would this be? This sort of is like a temperance card or star maybe or something. Um, well, obviously not star has a sun. Maybe it's a little temperance kind of thing. Healing. We have the balance here. Um, we have seduction over there. A little bit of a devil aspect. And then we have a tower card over here. Yeah, this is looking more and more like a tarot deck. Is this, it says Oracle deck. It says Oracle deck. I didn't, I did, I mean, this is my first time opening this. It could say, yo, dude, this is a tarot deck, but I called it an Oracle. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I did not read the book. Again, I just opened it. Uh, meta, 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 Meta Arcana, The Magician, uh, I guess The Empress. Okay. Um, anyway, well, let's keep flipping through it. I didn't read the book. Maybe it's a tarot deck. I don't know it yet. Restoration, obviously, a star card. Um, vision, not sure what that guess is. The Moon, I guess. Again, I don't know. 
vision. Very cool. Um, there we go. There's the sun. There's the sun card riding in. Very cool indeed. Um, there we have um, uh, 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 rebirth reincarnation, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Rebirth reincarnation. Then we have uh, bliss. Maybe the world. What do you think? Maybe the world. Uh, we have look up. Look up is interesting. Not sure what the, the drips are for. I don't know, but very pretty. Man, just the level of artwork. The level of mastery of artwork here is just digital art. It's incredible. Walking meditation, just go, make it happen, get your move on. Um, silence, very pretty, very pretty. Again, the lighting is so intense. Very, very attractive. We have solo magic. Um, interesting, interesting, sort of, sort of blending with nature, you know, kind of a blending with nature feel there. We have creation partners, sex magic, that's what I'm talking about. We have that. We have, we need cards when we have sex. If you don't have cards when you have sex, that's not a proper humping. Uh, we have animal energy is what I'm talking about. A little bit, kind of, a, again, kind of a strength card, a little bit, sort of meditative state. Again, the lighting, the shading. It's all incredible, incredible. There's not gonna be, I'm gonna tell you this now, there's not going to be a better deck for sort of, you know, looking a little bit of the Delta A, a little bit of the marijuana, a little bit of, you know, happy smokes. There's not gonna be a better deck than this, uh, in my opinion. Beautiful colors, it's not so intense that it, you know, it bothers you. Uh, the beautiful lighting, lighting effects, the artwork, the, the level of detail, everything in this is so incredible. Love that, just gla uh, what, the glam? Glam, yeah. Relax, have a little wine, write a book. I love you, I love you too. Future love letter to our futures. We're writing it into a mirror. That's kind of cool. And the face in the mirror seems like it doesn't fit with the, uh, in other words, this was looking this way and this face is looking, maybe I'm just in the perspective, but that's kind of cool that it sort of doesn't match. Wow, look at that. Food meditation, I do love me some food. Man, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a thin boy. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of food. Very cool, man, lots of detail. Uh, we have dance portal, just let go. Yeah, just let go. A little Saturday night fever going on there. Gratitude Rampage, like it. We have a spirit, we have an act. We have alchemy, choices. I guess, are these my aces? Are these my aces, maybe? We have wizard, a balance. Then we have hermetic, to create. Put it in the mortal and pestle and make it happen. And we have connect, here we go. And we have um, Contouring, Legacy. Wow, look at the artwork, Jesus. Love this artwork. Uh, Equalizer, the highest self. Very, very pretty. So we've kind of gotten into more of a flowy thing. The previous cards were like highly detailed with lots of little intricacies and now we're kind of getting into the flow, right? We got a Metaverse, Maybe liquid delta, I don't know. Uh, we got magic, alignment. Very flowy, very sort of a feel there. So we've gotten away from the faces and the people into just kind of flow, right? Something liquid, something a vine with a hand or something like that. So you do kind of have two different aspects of uh, in the same deck. So are we gonna stay with that? No, it seems we go back and forth. So that's kind of cool, I have a little balance there. A little bit of spillage, sorcery, nice. We have justice, literal justice. Then we have resurrection. So we're back to the people. Man, so pretty. Love the blues, love the color alignments. I love the color matching that was done here. There's nothing that really just stands out. It catches my eye and distracts me. Like the whole thing, just to sort of coordinate. So this is, this is like a mastery class in art, okay? You want color, 
You want it all to match. You want complementary colors. You don't want anything to catch your eye and to stand out that distracts you from the whole of the card. Uh, again, I can't stop talking about how good this art is. Uh, protection, very pretty. Look at the light source. Wow. Wow, that's so nice. We have Essence. Again, very pretty on the light source. Very detailed on there, too. Uh, and then we have Memory. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we have Pay Attention. Pay Attention, indeed. We have Create Diviner. Wow, this is going to be a mainstay on the channel. This is going to be a mainstay for the channel. Nature, again, the lighting effects, beautifully done, beautifully done. Uh, offering, wow, a lot of very sort of a serious note on that card. We have Guidance, wow, kind of like a post-death card or moving in with that. We have Grace. And then we have Chaos, Balance, nice, nice, very pretty. We have Bliss, a little less detailed cards again. Uh, crystal, then we have Truth, we have Codes in Nature, Miracles, wow. Jesus, how long did that one take? Look at that. Like, I'm curious, I gotta, we gotta get the uh, artist edge on the uh, channel and get an interview. We have to do this. I wanna know, like, how long did some of these cards take? Just the level of details going through. That looked like it took a week. Like, this looked like this is a multi year project. Um, higher perception, kind of less detailed, kind of cool. Love sound of the heart outside of the body there. Higher perception and the passion. Universal oneness in the transcend. Very, the limb escape through the skull. Then we have a gateway of vision. We have a divine feminine. Then we have intergalactic mastery. Very cool. Wow, that's so pretty. Love the pyramid. Um, Omo. We have a sing. I love the uh, sort of the throat chakra. Sort of shining light out, the addition of the doves, Jesus. Um, we have community. We have love and hood. There we go. We have um, thrive, tolerance, uh, compassion. And then we have peace, sort of a reflection, right? There's a lot of mirrors, I think, well, a lot. I think there's a second mirror, maybe third mirror-ish. Um, I love uses of mirrors in decks. I can't talk good enough about mirrors being in decks because that represents introspection. We're looking at ourselves, we're evaluating who we are, we're evaluating what we see in the mirror. It also talks about long-distance relationships, right? Sort of have a window or a mirror uh, we'll have a long-distance relationship, uh, in my opinion. That's my style. We have the loyalty with Rana. Very pretty. Wow. Very beautiful. Uh, wow, speaking of beautiful, we have sexuality. Jesus Christ, how long did that take? I mean, look at all the little details in here, man. Like, you got to respect this. A lot of people just flip through cards, and they're like, yeah, that looks cool. But like the level of work, details, the dolphins in the background, the splash, the lighting effects on the splashes, the lighting effects on each individual drop, you got to appreciate it. You got to take a deep breath and just appreciate the level of work that went into this deck. Uh, beyond, wow, so pretty. And family, Jesus, that looks good. Man, I love that. Sort of just that looking through into either the mirror or the window, sort of seeing the family. Star seed, love the mermaid action. Mermaids and cards, you can't have enough. And then a uh, change. And finally, we have key. So, yeah. Um, Jesus. I, I mean, the deck of the year is going to be hard this year because there's so many, but this is in the running. That is in the running for not only deck of the year, 
but one of the decks that I'm gonna use every single night on the stream. This is gonna be one of the mainstays on the stream. And which is funny, I originally came into this thinking, okay, it's gonna be, you know, for, for funny questions with pot or Delta eight or a little bit of a doobage, what have you, I'm gonna use this deck and this is gonna be kind of the off deck, right? Kind of a one-off deck. When we have a specific question that fits the deck, I'm gonna use it. But now, now that I have seen this, I'm gonna use it every night. I don't care what your question is, this is going to be one of the best decks on the stream. And um, gee, the quality of the cards, the number of cards, the level of detail in the artwork, beautifully uh, done accompanying book, and it's only 20 bucks? I mean, I've paid 50, 60 bucks for Kickstarters that are worse than this. This is astounding. One of the best decks of the year, quite possibly. Um, again, obviously I like it, Master of the Obvious here. And sorry if I rambled through the entire deck, but uh, I think the artwork needs to be appreciated. I think the artwork needs to be recognized as some of the best artwork to come out this year, maybe even in the past two, three years. This is at the level of the, um, the Light Sears Terra, right? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I'm just saying, this is, a, this, it, this is at the level of the Light Sears Terra as far as artwork is concerned, as far as meaningful cards are concerned, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, it's an Oracle deck. Let's treat it a little differently, but still. Anyway, obviously, I like it. <laughs> let, let me know what you think about the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle deck. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.